everyone. In this video, we're going to study the hepatic clearance. We want to understand what is hepatic clearance, how it's done, and also we want to have a calculation on hepatic clearance with example on how to calculate uh, drug clearance via the liver. Let's start. First, we want to understand what is clearance. Clearance or drug elimination is the term that describes the process in which the body gets rid of drug. So after we administer drug into the body and it gets to the site of action, produces its desired action or maybe some side effects, now it's the time to get rid of that drug. There are some organs responsible uh, of these processes, which are the liver, the kidneys, and other organs like the skin, the um, lungs, mainly the liver and the kidneys. They done the um, extractions of the drug and the clearance via two processes, via renal excretion and hepatic metabolism. It is important for us to study hepatic clearance and to uh, able to calculate clearance of drugs in order to maintain a drug in the body within the normal level, not too toxic, not too, la too minimum uh, in order to achieve a therapeutic level. So let's start with the hepatic metabolism, how it happens. Let's take this figure here on the liver. Okay, and we can see that uh, the arteries that brings the blood with the uh, drugs in it into the liver, and then it leaves via vein. Here the liver is like a machine that takes the blood, clears some of the drug from it out, and leave the remaining in the blood that it gets to other organs. We have here something called the rate of presentation. The rate of a presentation equals to the blood flow, which is represented by Q, multiplied by the concentration of the drug inside the artery, so CA. So how much blood is flowing? Is it fast? Is it slow? This is also important because if the blood is uh, flowing very fast, the liver will, will not have enough time to clear enough uh, amount of the drug from the blood. And thus, it will affect the clearance. Also, if it was slow, there would be more time for the liver to clear a uh, drug. And this is important, as we said, to maintain a therapeutic level of the, of the drug in, inside the body. Here at the other side, we have something called the rate of leaving, which is represented by Q, also the blood flow, multiplied by CV, so the concentration of the drug inside the vein, how much drug remaining after the liver did its function, after it cleared uh, the blood from certain amount of a, of a drug. And the rate of extraction is that, that the liver is doing is Q multiplied by CA, which was the beginning concentration, minus the end concentration. So how much entered minus how much is left out. This is determined how much the liver is working, how much is, is clearing the um, body from the drink. This is a general overview on hepatic clearance, but now let's understand deep what is hepatic clearance and other terms that we need in order to um, study these processes. We have here clearance refer to the volume of a blood that passes through an organ and gets it cleared of a drug per unit of time. So it is the volume of a blood that is cleared, uh, ml per unit of time per minute. On the other hand, the extraction ratio refer to the rate of extraction over the rate of a presentation. We 
we saw in the previous slide that the rate of extraction is the blood flow multiplied by the concentration of the drug in the artery minus the concentration of the blood in the vein over the rate of a presentation which is the blood flow multiplied by the concentration of a blood in the arteries the extraction ratio tell us um, how much the drug is being secreted in an infraction form so it must be uh, from zero ranging from zero to one zero percent means the drug is not really eliminated it's almost uh, left out in the blood nothing is removed while one means that almost hundred percent of the drug is eliminated what about the values in between so if the extraction ratio was um, the value of it was below 0 0.3 this means a low extraction ratio while if it was above 0 0.7 it will be high extraction ratio so we refer to drugs uh, with um, extraction ratio either uh, we call them high extraction ratio drugs or low extraction ratio drugs and this is um, um, represent if they are re um, hepatically cleared a lot or not the values between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 is a moderate extraction ratio but these two are the most uh, common ones in the drugs and the most important ones now let's move on to some equations that are important for hepatic clearance we have here these uh, the clearance totally equals to the clearance done by the liver plus the clearance done by the kidneys so the renal clearance and the clearance done by other organs the rate of elimination which is totally different from the clearance is the clearance itself multiplied by the concentration of the blood and the rate of extraction is the clearance or the extraction ratio is the clearance over the blood flow. This all will help us get the hepatic clearance and the uh, extraction ratio and efficiency of some drugs, which is our, uh, which are important um, in calculations of a drug and doses and, and adjustment of doses and doses regimen for every specific uh, case. Now let's take an example and see how we can use these equations. Um, to calculate hepatic clearance. What is the hepatic clearance of the drug below? Note the clearance is expressed in plasma clearance and assume that the hepatic blood flow is 1060 ml per minute. So this is the Q. CL the clearance is 80 ml per minute and FE is 0 0.1. FE is the fraction excreted unchanged in the urine. CP, which is the concentration in the plasma, over CB, which is the concentration in the blood, equals 1. Second question is, what is the hepatic extraction efficiency of the drug? Let's just start one by one. So, number one, they want the hepatic clearance. What we have in the question that we can use uh, are these given values. Let's first use the elimination rate the equation that we just discussed the elimination rate equals the clearance multiplied by the concentration and they give us the clearance here and they said that this clearance is, is expressed as plasma clearance so this is c um sorry c l p so we can say that is CLP multiplied by the CP, so the concentration in the plasma. Also, we can say that um, the, uh, the elimination rate or the extra uh, extraction rate is the CLV, so the clearance of blood multiplied by CB, the concentration in the blood, and they are equal to each other. Why is that so? because um, plasma is a component of a blood so how much of a drug that is taken out and or removed from the blood will be equal to the amount taken from the plasma and this is the elimination rate the elimination rate discuss how much or the amount of a drug that is cleared 
clearance is just uh, indicate how much blood uh, is um, cleared from drug but do, do not specify specify how much um, amount of a drug is removed while elimination rate does this it tell us how much a drug uh, is cleared so it will always be the same how much a drug removed from the blood will be the same amount of a blood removed from the plasma because plasma as we said is a part of the blood regardless of the value of clearance in blood or the concentration that which may differ here um, these concentration tell us cb that uh, indicate the drug is bound to red blood cells while cp indicates that the drug is bound to plasma so they might be bound to proteins in the plasma or they might be free floating in the plasma but not bound to red blood cells however the elimination rate of these two will be the same so we're giving these two values the cb and the cp and we're giving clp the only one that we're we're not given is the CLB. So we can get, get this. CLB is equal to CLP multiplied by CP over CB. And we have all of these values. Let's implement this together. So CLB will be 80 multiplied by this fraction here, which is 1. So multiplied by 1 equals 80 ml per minute. Now how is this uh, helpful in getting the hepatic clearance? Let's look, take a look back at the total clearance. So the total clearance which equal to the hepatic clearance and the clearance by the kidneys and other. The total clearance is just as the blood clearance because what is the total clearance is how much blood is cleared um, from drugs. So which is the clearance of the blood. So they're the same. So we can say CLB is equal to the CLT. And we get the CLT here. What is remaining is that we want the CLH, the hepatic clearance. The CLH um, equals the CLT multiplied by FM. FM here is the fraction of a drug that is metabolized. Because the drug is not 100% cleared by the liver, as we saw that there is FE, the fraction excreted unchanged in the urine, which means that the drug is um, somehow cleared by the uh, kidney as well. And, uh, which means that the CLH will not be totally equal to the CLT. There is some fraction as only that uh, cleared by the liver and the other one is cleared by the kidney. Fe, tot Fe total or F total is 1, so which is equal to Fe plus Fm. Fe is 0 0.1 and we want this Fm here. So 1 minus 0 0.1 fm equal 0 0.9 now we got the fm and we have the clt we can get the clh from these two let's get a clear board to do that so we said clh equal to cl total multiplied by fm cl total is 80 multiplied by 0 0.9 you can use your calculator to get that it will be 72 so 72 ml per minute this is the first part the hepatic clearance we got that now let's find the second part of the question which is the hepatic extraction efficiency so we need to calculate the hepatic extraction ratio first so we have the equation of the uh, hepatic extraction ratio which is e equals the hepatic clearance over the blood flow we already have the hepatic clearance we just calculate that and we are giving the um, hepatic blood flow in the question so it is easy to calculate the extraction ratio we say 72 ml per minute 
over 1,600 ml per minute, which equals 0 0.045. And the extraction ratio ha uh, has no unit since the units here cancel each other. So let's take back the values. We said if it is um, above 0 0.7, that means the drug have, is, um, is having a high extraction ratio. If it is lower than, than 0 0.3, that means this is low. So low and high. Our range falls here. So this means that the hepatic ex extraction efficiency of the drug is low extraction ratio no ratio only this is um, the solution of this question I hope it was helpful and clear um, if you have any question feel free to leave a comment and thank you all for watching